So the leg at the back as it's kicking up. <laughs> is that that leg at 90 degrees close to a butt? It is on one leg and it isn't on the other. Right. So, right, so she would definitely score more poorly on the TGMD. Right? She wouldn't be scoring very high on, so for a percentile ranking for running, she'd be pretty low right now. And here is our second car. Who's going to make it to yes. And this is the next question. Who's right here? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, we got we got stage four for this for this guy right here. Yeah, he was doing his thing. It could heel to contact, um, arm leg opposition, um, yeah, high heel, high heel recovery, and yeah, definitely elbow push. Okay, so stage four on the MSU. Mm -hmm. What about the TGMD? Oh. So, arms in on position, elbows bent, yes yeah. or no? Yes. Okay. Period where there's flight phase. <laughs> Narrow heel foot toe. placement, heel toe contact, yes. Great. High knee recovery, pretty good. Flight phase. I don't think he got the He's phase, pretty. He's kind of stiff. Close. <laughs> Barely. I wish we could slow that down a little bit more. Who keep pressing pause? It's. I would be doubtful whether there's a consistent flight phase, right? Bearing in mind when we, when we look at running in more detail without a flight phase, it isn't technically running. So it always makes me laugh that that's one of the characteristics on the TGMD because if there's no flight phase, it is not running, right? Um, he's, 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 I don't know, that's pretty, pretty close. Yeah. Okay, next group. Yep. Hands to 
It, you can kind of, it's kind of a nerve, but it's not. It's, Maybe just the back. You, yeah. Okay. He does swing his arms forwards, his hands. Yes, they're out there to head high. Yeah, we got the, the heels. I forgot what it's called. The, the back heels. The, there's one. What is, what is the thing? If his back heels uh, lift when he swings his arms. Legs are extended, right? So I think that three is reasonable. What about on your TGMD? Guys, why do you tell me now? Locum no. <laughs> no. to remember two subsets: a locum lunter subset and an object control subset. If well, you only have I one of them. I think it's a TMD. Alright, next jumper was 13.
dominant hand grips bat. Okay, so the problem with the strike on the TGMD is it's a baseball strike, right? Not a tennis strike. So it would be difficult um, because she doesn't have both hands. She doesn't have a two-handed forehand. So. Um, Glasses on, non dominant side of the body. Non dominant side of the body faces imaginary tosser with feet parallel. No. No, not good. Right? I mean, she stays dead front on all the time. Hips and shoulder rotation during the swing. Transfers body weight to front foot. Not really, because she's not got one foot in front of the other. Back contact ball, yes. So, and I don't know why, it's one of the things they've changed because they've updated the website and the new film clips are way, way better than the old book. So this is really nice that we've got so many options to watch. But they've not got, they used to have a, a loop button so you could just put it on loop and watch it and watch it and watch it and watch it without mess around keep playing it but okay next one 14 that's what we decided to get this person of stage four okay because they are stepping in the opposition foot and they wind up all the way and rotate all the way to the follow through. Excellent. Okay, good. So on, again, yeah, we can't do characteristic one because it's the wrong kind of strike. Uh, characteristic two, non dominant side of the body faces the tosser with the parallel. I would probably say yes. I mean, it's less appropriate to a tennis stroke than a baseball stroke, right? Because we're not doing this. But she is side on as she moves to the ball. Hip and shoulder rotation during the sway. Just a little bit. Transfers body weight, yes. So she'd score quite well on both assessments. Although you really would not use a TGMD on her, she's too old. Right? But this is for 14 year olds. Three, three to 14. Maybe she's 14. Maybe she's 14. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't. So. Alright, next group. Catching or throwing. Because the ball drops a little bit short. 
So had the ball flight been a slightly better, would she have gone for it with her hands or would she have gone for it with her arms? Probably not. Right? It, it, it's difficult to tell from this film clip whether she's a three or a four because the throw wasn't very good and the ball is. The ball is a good choice of ball for someone who's scared about it, but it's not a good choice of ball for the assessment because the assessment is looking for fingers and hands. You see what I mean? So it's a tricky one. But so I think that three and a half is a good is a is a safe place to go because from what you're seeing, you can't tell whether she should go down or go up. TGMD. TGMD. Um, we rated her uh, as a two, just because. Um, All caught by hands only. Yeah, she's. I. Or maybe just a one actually. That's all hands. Prep phase where hands are in front of the body and elbows are flexed. Not really. Yeah. That's what we're doing for the I mean, the. She, she, she moves her arms once the ball is in flight. She wasn't prepped for the ball. So I, I would probably not give her a yes for that. I tend to be harsh. <laughs> um, because it, it's better to be harsh and, and help them improve than tell them they're better than they are, in my view. That's how I approach it. Um, uh, arms extend while reaching as the ball, for the ball as it arrives. Yes, I think we have to say yes, given that film clip. Ball is caught by hands only. I think it's one hand. Yeah, that's all hands. That's all hands. That's all hands. That's tricky on that film. Yes. Yeah, in theory, on that film, yes. But, yeah. All right, next one was. We are over running. Next one was number 11. All right, throwing group, you're up tomorrow morning before we start chapter three. Yeah. Give this one four, four and a half. Just we, um, we weren't sure about the step because he steps through the ball. So yeah. Right, so he good. doesn't step in. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we gave him four. Yeah. He step. He actually he only steps because he's off balance. Yeah. He doesn't step as part of the throw. I mean, part of the catch. Do you think he stepped through the throw? Yeah, I think he, he went over to the ball and fell off balance and had to stare. Okay. Maybe he was looking the ball the whole time. Yeah. That's what I'm okay, good job. Alright, so tomorrow morning, chapter 3. Throwing guys who go first and show you their film.